One of the biggest questions surrounding the rumored remaster slash remake of Red Dead Redemption is whether Rockstar will include the expansion Undead Nightmare along with it. It is considered one of the best DLCs Rockstar has ever created and fans are curious if there is a chance it gets an overhaul as well. If the information we've been discussing for the past few days has a connection to the remaster then we might have some promising news. The new re-rating of Red Dead Redemption and the recently discussed achievement achievements hint toward the return of the Undead Nightmare DLC to be featured in the RDR1 remaster slash remake. One of the lines featured on the South Korean game rating for Red Dead Redemption teases the DLC. Expressions such as dead bodies, being infected with zombie viruses and reviving or biting the human body. This description is directly referencing Red Dead Redemption's non-canonical zombie horror expansion. So if this re-rating is related to to a Red Dead Redemption remaster slash remake, then Undead Nightmare should also be coming. Also, the updated achievement trophies from the Rockstar Social Club, which we discussed last time, include the ones from Undead Nightmare. If all of these things are all somehow connected, then it could mean that the DLC will be coming alongside the base game. I also want to mention another confirmation of the remaster you may not know about. If you're not convinced yet, wait till you see this. On the day GTA 6 leaked this person tweeted leaked images of the cancelled red dead redemption remaster it looks like rockstar games is not having a good day rockstar then took down the attached images i saw the tweet when it went live and it was a joke the account itself also reaffirmed it the screenshots were from the original red dead redemption with gta 6 inspired color grading modification i guess on the day of the leak they thought that the red dead redemption remaster leaked too Rockstar is known for taking down anything related to the game that is having a remaster before the game gets announced. They did it with the trilogy by taking down the original versions from all digital retailers and they did it with Red Dead Redemption. It isn't available anywhere. These images are just another confirmation. Their removal makes sense now with all the information we've been getting. We don't know when exactly Rockstar plans to release the game. Will it be this summer or the fall? Rockstar typically releases titles during the fall but it is all speculation until we get an official announcement. However, this is not all we have to discuss in today's video. Tespans 2 also commented on the Red Dead Redemption remaster. This is all interesting. Rockstar Dundee, previously Ruffian Games, was working on assisting Rockstar on GTA Online before the acquisition. They assisted with e e 2, a third-party studio that worked on Rage before being acquired. I didn't expect them to be heavily involved into the stuff that Rockstar would mainly focus on. They are long-term friends of Rockstar 2. I guess the acquisition was more or less a way to financially assist them due to the pandemic. If you check out GTA 5's new credits, most of Rockstar Dundee senior developers are focused focused on online modes. Years of experience with multiplayer is likely the convincing reason behind their acquisition. Basically, nothing to do with remasters. As for this, before GTA Definitive Edition Trilogy release, Rockstar's long-term plan was, or still is, to expand to other series, such as Red Dead Redemption 1 and Max Payne, the latter which was announced last year. They got future plans for Grove Street Games too, but must have been ditched by now since Rockstar is no longer working with them. My knowledge is the same as you all. If this is happening, I doubt it's solely Rockstar Dundee but either a collective of Rockstar Studios or a new third party studio. Red Dead Online event being extended to end on a Tuesday is interesting too. RDR2's QA Live branch received an update 10 days ago indicating an update or a patch is releasing soon. Interesting. He says he doubts Rockstar Dundee is behind the Red Dead Redemption remaster project but is either a collective of Rockstar Studios or a new third party developer. Should we be worried about this considering the last time a third party developer worked on a Rockstar title things didn't go so well? Maybe this time things will be different, who knows? We are like 80% sure that this is real. The only thing left is to wait for Rockstar to make it official. Imagine if Rockstar releases the long awaited current gen update for RDR2 alongside the remaster. Let's not get too excited here okay it is always better to be cautious about such things especially when we don't even have an announcement i will update you on everything red dead redemption remaster slash remake here on the channel before you go a like would be appreciated and subscribe for more red dead redemption gta 6 and more from the world of rockstar games thank you for watching